Let's see how to use the prepositions due to or because of. You could say, for example, I'm sorry we couldn't arrive on time due to the rain or we couldn't arrive on time because of the rain. In both cases, because they are prepositions, the typical um, information you're going to find is going to be a noun group. If you wanted to use a full sentence, you could say, we couldn't arrive on time because it was raining. And there you would have subject and verb. So if you're going to use subject and verb, you would use something like because or some other alternatives. If you're going to use just a noun, you would use due to or because of. Because, because of and due to are prepositions, sometimes they could use a verb in the ing. For example, the train had to stop because of flooding or the train had to stop due to flooding. These are just exception, exceptional cases, but it might happen. But as you can see, it's just a verb in the ing. There is no subject. Another example, lessons had to be stopped because of the pandemic or due to the pandemic. Again, what you have in here is a noun group and that's it. Other possibilities could include, for example, lessons had to be stopped because of the risk of infection or due to the risk of infection. But again, these are noun groups. There is no verb involved. On the other hand, if uh, the reason you're going to give includes a subject and the verb that is a full clause, a full subordinate clause, what you would use are some of these options. You could say, new computers can't be bought because they are quite expensive. New computers can't be bought as they are quite expensive. New computers can't be bought given that they are quite expensive. New computers can't be bought in so far as they are quite expensive. Or new computers can't be bought due to the fact that they are quite expensive. What you're doing here, for example, you have the preposition due to, then you have the noun and then you are adding this relative clause, which is going to explain this noun, okay? But you would only use due to the fact that if you're going to have a subordinate clause with subject and verb. I have to warn you, uh, this particular one sounds a bit artificial, okay? If you want to use it, it's fine, but it sounds a bit artificial. I have given you options this could be the most basic one, which is absolutely correct. This is a bit more sophisticated. This is really sophisticated. And this is really, really, really sophisticated. So depending on the tone of uh, your production, you might want to use one or the other.